Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today is so important. We are going to talk about having control over our lines, our seams we do, whether they are straight lines or if they are curved. And this is so important in the finish, how your garment or any craft that you are making is done and finished and how it looks. So let's go. To start off, I want to show you the difference between a seam that has straight lines and is well done versus one that isn't so straight. You can see that this one is pretty much very straight, while this one, although it's not that bad, you will see how it looks. Let me show you. This is the one that is straight and you can see how flat it is. This one is not that straight and look the indentations, like it doesn't look that good. I know, they look almost the same, but you can see there are some indentations with this one, while this one is completely nice and straight, you see? They don't fall in the same way. Of course, this seam is not that bad, but people still do a little bit more. Straight stitches. The first thing I want to show you is the bunny. A lot of machines have this feature, and it shows how fast or how slow your machine can sew. Let's see. I'll put it in the fastest. Look at that. Now we can set it in the slowest. Now I will press my pedal as fast as I can. You see? It cannot go faster than that, even if I want it. That helps us to have better control of the machine. This is very important because not everybody has a good control. So choose a velocity where you feel comfortable. Machines sew straight. The next thing I wanna tell you is that, believe it or not, sewing machines in general sew straight. Let the machine run with soft corrections. You see, I didn't almost touch the material and the stitch is pretty much straight. Use your seam guide. The seam guide is marked with the distance from the edge. So for example, if you wanna sew at one half of the inch, you just make sure that your material gets there. For example, let me show you. Then when I'm sewing, I'm not looking at the needle. I'm not looking there. I'm looking here. And the only thing that I have in count is that my material goes straight there. You see? Mark your line. Another strategy is that you can mark the line where you want it. You can use a shock, an erasable pen, whatever you want. If you mark your sewing line, it's very, very easy. So different to using the seam guide, what you have to do now, again, don't look at the needle, just see that your line goes in between. The last thing I wanted to mention is that when you are doing a line, you don't need to push or pull the material too much. You don't have to. You let it slide and you correct just a little bit. You see, it's not really that much. Sometimes we really want to make it very straight and then what we do, we try to overcompensate this way or this way. And this is why the stitches don't look that straight, you see? sewing 90 degree angles. Here I have this little patch and I'm gonna work on sewing it. So I'm gonna sew a straight line down. And once I reach the bottom, I'm going to judge how much the length of stitch I can go before I hit the corner. And then I'm going to leave the needle down, lift my foot and pivot it 90 degrees so that it's exactly perpendicular. And now I'm gonna keep sewing straight. Let's repeat. We're gonna keep the needle down, lift the foot, pivot and continue. And one more turn, let's go. Here you go. See, nice, huh? Remember that practice make you perfect. So I'm uploading free PDF with the practice sheets so you can use it and practice all you want. And uh, remember that uh, to sew in paper sometimes dulls the needle. So you have to change it after you do a lot of practice. What you can do, you can have one needle for your papers practice and then use the other needles. This is my daughter, by the way, sewing. What she did, she put her bone in a slower position so she can control the machine and when she go to the she lift turn and keep sewing guys I'm not very good at this 
sewing curves. When sewing curves, it's really important to steer rather than to pull the material. It's also like when you're skiing or skating, you're going to have the dominant pressure on one hand at a time, while the other hand kind of relaxes. So the other hand, if you need to curve, will take control and gently steer. And when you get to these little curves, you should lift the foot while your needle is down and make as many little pivots as you need. Don't be shy to just lift in every corner if you need to. Something as well that I want to add is that when you have a curve so small like this one, it's okay if you pull with hands too. For example, now I'm doing with the paper, with the paper is very easy, but sometimes with the material you cannot do it that easier. So if you are doing, for example, a pair of pants and you are replacing the zipper and you wanna do the curve, at the front flap sometimes it's just easier just to go by hand one by one you see like that you have more control I have a very easy machine to lift the foot but still you have to do it sewing different curves sewing the curve with the same curve what I'm gonna do I'm steering my material and then I lift my pedal each time I need let's say that you are going to open this stitch this side when you fold it here this is bigger than this so it will go like that so in that case what you can do you can notch it here you just do like a just a slip because the curve is different There you go, and see, nice, huh? Wow. Sewing a curve on a flat. So here I have a circle and I measured out the circumference of the circle. I cut out a rectangle whose length is the same as the circumference of the circle. And now I'm gonna begin sewing them. So for sewing it, it will be easier if you put the curve on top and the straight line at the bottom. And then you just have to keep this one straight and then this one you will stir it like that, like that, see? That seems hard to do. It's a little hard, but there's nothing that is impossible. Of course, if you pin it, it's better. After you can just iron it. Sewing opposite curves. This one is terribly difficult. It's more difficult than sewing a curve on a flat? Yes. Why? Because if you don't do it right, it gets all really bad. You need to have control of everything you want to do. So what I did now, I notch to not lose what is important to be together. I will as well pin it on place because if I don't do it, it will be horrible. You see, starting from here, see how these lines are really hard to know where exactly you need to do it. You see, like that, and so there, because there is where you have your quarter inch. So you have to try to keep your seam allowance together and sew to the right distance. You see, it looks pretty good, and then after it's iron, it's great. So what I'm doing now, I'm I won't iron with the seam allowance open. Whoa. What do you think? I think that looks really nice. As a beginner, I'm kind of scared to see this one because it's supposed to be the hardest one. Why do you think it's the hardest? People say that it's the hardest. But if you do little by little, you can be okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to sew this circle there. I will mark my corners of my circle and then I'll do the same here. This is a very, 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 very good practice. So what I'm doing now, I'm pinning my four corners. Well, there is no corner in a circle, right? But let's call it corner. And then I'll go in between those pins. I'm not talking about four pins. I'm talking about eight, right? Okay, folks, let's do this. Remember, you have this curve bigger than this one because from there to there will be bigger and then from there to there will be a smaller. So in this point where I'm going to sew is the same. Okay, so let's start. We will take any point. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, and then I will start sewing and then I will try to go very slow. So if you do that, just try to practice that 
I will as well put the pattern for that. And uh, if you practice that and you can do it, then there is no curve that you cannot do it. Eh? Let's see the final results. There you go. So that's my circle. So now I'm gonna iron everything. And then I'm gonna turn to the other side. Oh, that's satisfying. So here's your homework after today's lesson. So guys, that was all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. We have here very interesting lines.